I can climb this. Well, they wouldn't have put it if it wasn't intended to be climbed. I'm very pleased. Very pleased after finishing this. That's gonna take me a good amount of time to properly articulate um, all of my thoughts on the game and whatnot. But I will say that as as mostly unbiased as I can be, because I do not hide the fact that I like Sonic a lot. But I will say that in all genuineness, I would give Sonic Friend Hears from start to finish without taking my own personal frame rate issues in mind I would honestly give the game about a, an 8.7 because no Sonic game is perfect and if I were to be like outrageously biased like how I was initially when I was talking about the game to people before I finished it. Oh, I would say a 10 out of 10 off rip. But that's just me being a biased fan. And that's not entirely fair to the game itself. You know, no game is perfect. Everything deserves its fair judgment, its fair criticisms and stuff like that. But for me to just say, oh, it's a 10 out of 10. That no, that that's disingenuous. And we stay genuine around these parts. But, yeah, I would genuinely say, having played through the whole game on hard mode, I want to clarify, on hard mode and being stuck at mostly 15 FPS because of my laptop, I still had a good enough time with the 12, say 8.7. 8.7 easy. I would I would say like a 8.8 8.9 but nah for for me personally nah and I guess this is like a uh uh end of game thoughts review kind of thing I mean I put it up on YouTube regardless and I'll probably title it that anyway but yeah having finished the game that that's my genuine score for it now. There are some really wonky things like, like, I'm not all a fan of going into trick mode suddenly if you boost at an angle and you go airborne. Um, not particularly fond of Sonic just kind of like spiraling and flailing in the air when he boost off an angle but doesn't go into trick mode because you also don't have any control until you hit the ground again and i know this because it happened several times and i was doing my usual methods to like regain air control like using my double jump or hitting the stomp or hitting the boost none of that works and it's led to my death Why? Not? well not my death but me losing rings or having to redo a section quite a few times and that's a little a little annoying um uh that little mini cut scene when you go into uh ring boost mode i forgot what it's actually called but the little cut in where there's the sonic movie reference that's cool i love it i don't need to see it every time I hit my ring capacity. It's cool. I like it. But it gets really, really, really repetitive. 
and stale after the first, like, 20 times. Um, who knows? Boosting is cool. I like the fact that you do have a boost meter in the style of, uh, uh, a Skyward Sword. No, not, no, not Skyward Sword. What the fuck? Uh, Breath of the Wild. I like that. That's cool. Um, I also like that it, re it refills itself pretty quickly over time. And I do like that uh, you can draw a figure eight. And as long as, at least in my experience, Sonic is inside the figure eight. When you let go of the side loop button, you get infinite boost. That's cool. I don't think it should last an eternity, though. Like, don't get me wrong. I love zipping and sliding and blitzing all over the place. But being able to so easily get infinite boost like that and it not going away. Again, in my experience, it not going away until you get into a cutscene or you die. Um, that's like a bit much. And... Maybe, and this is just the wild on the spot speculation, but hear me out. Maybe. Maybe infinite boost should be locked to being in ring capacity, like having like your total amount of rings you're allowed to hold. But once you do that, after you draw the figure eight, I think your ring count should slowly start to decrease. Like as long as you're moving with the boost, I want to add. Like, maybe... I don't know. Your ring count goes down by, like, 1 up to a maximum of 100? Or something? Or... It should just go away the moment you get hit. Because... There have been instances where... I was getting thrashed left and right, and I lost all my rings. But I still had infinite boost and was able to just zip on out of there. That's a little bit overpowered. Um, what else? I love the combat. Combat's awesome. It's very, very, very good. It's, I know a lot of people write it off as like, Sonic had a conversation with Dante and taught him how to fight. Uh, it's cool. Um, it is stiff still in a couple of parts and i'm not saying this because i'm trying to play frontiers like it's devil may cry but there are some actions that go on for uh, a little bit too long for at least my own personal liking and i think that some of the command responsiveness could be just a little bit adjusted. Granted, that too is probably due in part to my own frame rate problems, which if it is, then disregard that. Yet, at, I, I will still continue to say that maybe the input responsiveness could be tweaked just a little. As in like, or, or, or. Or they could do a thing where, like for the, uh, what's that attack called? Um, like the loop kick or the wild rush. Maybe after you press the prerequisite button, you get like a little prompt on screen that tells you when you can uh, press the attack. Because there have been times, even when I was playing like off screen where I can play the game at 30 FPS, sometimes 60, um, there have been instances where I know I'd be pressing the button at the right time, but it wouldn't go off like immediately or whatever. Um, I also think the animations for those could maybe be a little bit shorter. I don't even know, Sonic. 
literally flying all over the place and then attacking again is cool because it also creates a distance between you and the enemy which prevents you from getting hit. But they go on for quite a while. And then uh, the attack where, uh, what's it called? The homing shot. That's cool. Please get rid of the white flash. Like, I love the attack. I love using the attack. But the white flash afterwards is a little... Uh, hurts my eyes. My eyes be sensitive. I am blind, you know. I wear glasses for a reason. Um, but yeah, and then... I think that... And, and and I'm not trying to harp on this too much, but I think that uh, once the orbs are there, they should just fly out on their own instead of Sonic having to like send them out and then they hit because you're just stuck there for arguably too long. And if you happen to input that attack as you're surrounded, you're bound to get hit and getting hit sucks because it knocks you off your feet. You lose your rings, you gotta spend time getting up and yada yada yada. But, regardless, combat, great, awesome. Little improvements here and there, it'll be even better. Uh, the fishing, I love it. Please put Big's fishing in whatever Sonic game comes after this. I, w I, I don't even care if it's the same copy-paste formula, just please put that back into the next game. I beg you, thank you. Um, what else? Um, I do believe that is about it for the just finish the game thoughts off my head, uh, review. Well, review in extreme air quotes because I'm not a game reviewer, though I did think about being a game reviewer a long time ago when I was younger.